Yo, what's up guys, Fa here. Today we show you guys the best final effects for any design. Alright, so first you want to group your whole design together. Alright, and then Control J. Control E to merge everything. So now you have a separate layer for everything right here. As you see. Now you want to get your rectangular marquee tool. Select the whole thing. Control J. And then delete the bottom layer. And you want to make this a smart object. Alright, so the first effect you want to do is magic bullet look. So you want to get that plugin. I'm going to link it in the description down below. So what you want to do is go to filter magic bullet and then looks and then this is the one i usually use right here so i use curves here are the settings diffusion gradient anamorphic flare color reversal chromatic aberration and spot exposure right there now once you do that click finished so it should look like that now as you see you can see a really big difference all right so now the next effect is going to be camera raw filter all right so for camera raw it really depends but here's the like presets i always use so I use negative 15 on blacks, plus 30 on clarity, plus 4 on dehaze. And for vibrance, I usually just go up a little, so plus 13. And then I might turn the blues up just a bit like that. So as you see, it looks like that now. It looks very clean, as you see. All right, and the next effect is going to be a noise. So what you want to do is go to filter, filter gallery, go to distort, and then click on diffuse glow change the graininess to one and then clear them out to 20 and click ok so you see there's a bit of noise on it now as you see not too much not too little the next effect you want to duplicate the layer make sure your colors are black and white right here go to filter render cloud it should look like that and make sure the blending mode is at soft light and opacity is at 20 now make another new layer put it on top of everything filter other high pass and make the radius 2 and then make it overlay and then I usually turn it down to like 50 as you see and the final effect is going to be sharpen so on the most bottom layer right here go, go to filter sharpen smart sharpen and then I have the amount at 200 radius 1 reduce noise 10 blends blur so those are all the final effects as you see it made a big difference in my design made it pop more you know gave it some depth and everything so yeah that's basically it um, if you guys want any more tutorials please drop some suggestions down below and yeah that's it Fall out. Peace.